In this step based video, I'm going to be showing you how to activate Shopify payments for non USA citizens. Now, this is a, a step based video. All you need to do, guys, you want to watch this video till the end so that you don't make any mistake in this process. So, let's get started right now. But before I start, I would um, like uh, appreciate if you can drop a like on this video. Okay, so let's get started right now. Now, to activate Shopify payments, you will need to, uh, if you are outside of the US, uh, just click on the settings here at the very bottom left and you want to click where it says general in the top uh, left and then you want to click here where you can see the billing address here uh, and your country below that now you want to click this pin icon here and what you guys need to do is to change the country to United States okay now the reason for that is you will not be able to use Shopify payments if you live for example in morocco if you live in africa or in most countries in europe you will not be able to use shopify payments now most people will say this is not this is uh, not good okay it's against the terms and services of shopify it's not true okay just follow the steps in this video i will show you guys step by step um how this whole thing works okay now if you search here on your, on Google for Shopify payments countries, okay, you will find that a lot of countries, um, like uh, Shopify, supports only uh, a few countries. Okay, now these countries are Australia, Austria, Belgium, Canada. Okay, now it's very limited, as you can see here, a few countries, including Denmark, France, Germany. Uh, Ireland, Italy, Japan, uh, New Zealand. Okay, so what you guys need to do is to select a country uh, which is uh, United States. Okay, just uh, select here United States, and here the state you will go with uh, let's say Col Colorado, okay, or California. Okay, so select California. And that's it now after that you want to click on you want to just enter here a random address because you are still going to come back to this billing information to change this okay after i show you guys what you are going to do next okay now after that you want to click on next all right now after that what you guys need to do you want to go back you want to click here on payments okay now as you can see here it displays now shopify payments but before if you changed your country to your own original country you will not be able to see here shopify payments okay now what you guys need to do is to uh, click on activate shopify payments okay and after guys you click on activate shopify payments make sure you follow these exact same steps so that you don't make any mistake in this process okay you want to click on submit details And this is very important. It says here, I'm running my store as individual registered business and non-profit. Now, if you select individual, Shopify will ask you guys for SSN. And if they ask you for SSN, SSN is a special number that that like, it's it's only provided to USA uh, like people, like people that actually live in the, U uh, the, the US, okay? Now, if you select individual, like I said, they will ask you for SSN, and SSN is a very special number, okay? Only people that live in the United States have this number, okay? Uh, as you can see, this is the how SSN looks like, okay? It's called social security number, okay? That's exactly the meaning of SSN, okay? Now, it's called social security number. Now, this number is only provided to people that are born in the united states okay so what you guys need to select here is you want to select your registered business and here where it says select business you want to select here where it says private single member llc okay all right now if you select this they will not ask you for ssn and now you can you know activate shopify payments by following the, the same of course this is not the whole story you know you still have to add many things okay now i'm going to show you guys i'm going to show you what you need to do now like i said you want to select here private single member llc okay and click on next here where it says registered business name 
and doing business as, as it's optional you don't have to, to enter anything there now employer identification number which is an is easy to get compared to assassin okay now this an number is easy okay it's not a problem the phone number the usa phone number is also not a problem okay the address that is uh in the united states is not also a problem now the problem if you select individual they will ask you for assassin and there is no way you can get that assassin number okay just forget about that now the reason why i said it's easy to get an is because there are a lot of companies that can create an llc in the united states and you will give you all this information which is en they will give you registered business name which is the name you use to create the llc in the united states now also the phone number will be provided to you if it's not provided to you because i'm not sure if they provide the phone number you can get the usa phone number and you will pay monthly i would say a very small fee to have an uh, usa phone number okay it's not a problem at all all right now this en identification which is identification number will be provided to you if you create an llc in the united states now there are a lot of companies that can help you create llc in the united states just for search for create L llc usa as you can see it says here how to start an llc in seven steps now you can also like click on this for example this tutorial to search how to create a llc it's not a like a hard thing to do but keep in mind that you will have to pay like i would say around um a few hundred dollars like 100 to 200 dollars per month i'm sorry it's not per month per year to have that llc okay okay it, because it's going to be registered in the united states and you will have to pay like i said uh to around 200 dollars per year if you want that okay now as you can see here it says here how to start an llc now if you click here it says the steps to start an llc and you just need to follow the steps and this company will help you guys get um like register you as a business in the united states so that you can use the the information to activate shopify payments like i said search on youtube for how to create llc and you like there will be a lot of tutorials that will show you that because i can't do that right now because it's going to take a long time and also i'm not going to pay for that um like 150 dollars because i don't really need an llc right now i'm using um, another payment provider that's the reason why now as you can see here which is phone number it's very easy to get it will be provided to you like i would say 90 percent it will be provided to you after you cre create the llc um it will be provided to you here the address will be provided to you of course and the state by after you create llc in the united states okay now the only thing you will need is the the usa bank account which is an easy thing to get a usa bank account is very easy okay compared to llc you will have to create it and pay for it but usa bank account is very easy all you need to do guys you just need to search for create like just search for uh create pioneer account okay now pioneer will provide you guys with a usa bank account like without paying for anything okay they will like like this as you can see i created multiple pioneer accounts for uh pioneer accounts for multiple shopify stores that i have as you can see um to get usa bank account after you create your pioneer um account which is very easy okay just search for create pioneer and click on sign up follow the steps like this just follow the steps and that's it click on uh, register and then you just need to enter here the information that will be asked so, okay they will ask you for for your name for your card id your national id which you have to enter here all correct information 100 percent. okay the date of birth every single thing it has to be correct okay uh, your own information and you will give you guys the usa bank account okay to create an account on pioneer is very easy okay so after you are on the pioneer dashboard after you create an account you want to click here where it says bank accounts and click on bank accounts for withdrawal as you can no, i'm sorry you want to go back and click on receiving accounts 
and as you can see here guys USA as you can click on USA and this is your SA bank account now now you can use it to receive money to your pioneer without any problem the account type is checking which is what which is what we want all right now after you receive the money you will find all your money here I just don't use this pioneer account anymore that's why there are no funds here so that's it guys okay that's it you just need to create an LLC and to get your SA bank account like I said it's very easy you just need to use pioneer that's it so I hope guys this video helped you if it does leave a like subscribe if you have any questions let me know in the comments I reply to every single comment just let me know in the comments any questions you have I will reply to you guys exactly um, in just a few minutes See you guys next video.